also my documentary is going to be over um, the Mexican drug lord El Chapo, whose government name is actually uh, Joaquin, Joaquin Laura. Uh, Joaquin was born on April 4th, 1957. Um, he grew up in a rural town in Mexico with an abusive father. They were very poor, which probably led to him being a horrible individual. Um, with Joaquin's poor circumstances, he had to make ends meet, and uh, instead of cutting grass and selling tamales like regular Hispanics, he um, decided to sell large amounts of drugs at the age of uh, 16, which ended in him getting kicked out by his abusive father, which only made his business grow wider since he didn't have to keep it such of a secret to his family anymore. So that's where he started with his drugs. So at this point in life, Joaquin's around 30 years old, 30 to 35, and um, he's rich. He's one of the richest people in Mexico. He has like rare white tigers and diamonds and jewels and whatever. And once they found his home, they found all of his riches and stuff, but he still had more, obviously. So um, he fled to America. I don't know how he got to America, but he did, and um, he was caught here, and he was incarcerated. But instead of putting him in a high security facility, they put him in a regular prison. Like they didn't put him in solitary where he belonged. So uh, obviously, he had enough money and enough people to help him get out. So that's what he did, and now he's free again, roaming the world, waiting to I guess kill more people and sell more drugs. Um. Miguel was El Chapo's, excuse me, Joaquin's boss, his higher, higher power than him. So Joaquin was in the middle, and then there was, um, what was his name, Hector, under him. And whenever Miguel got blasted, Joaquin stepped up to the plate and became like the new leader of the Mexican drug cartel. And Hector also got blasted. So then Joaquin had to basically recruit more people. After his partners in crime were um, deceased, Joaquin had to do it all by himself. He had he had ideas of stopping and not selling drugs anymore and trying to carry on a regular life, but he was already too far into it to turn back. So what he did was he made it expand bigger and bigger, and by now he had taken over basically all of Mexico and even the government was below Joaquin. So um, now there's feds and stuff after him. So he goes into, he kept it low key to begin with, but after his, his what's it, amigos, after they got dealt with, then he had to go even more low key. So there was a point in time where he wasn't even in Mexico hiding anymore. He was elsewhere and he had smaller people in smaller towns are doing his drug trades and bringing him the money we're dropping it off and he picks it up somewhere and goes back to hiding